Okay, so to have a look at the front calipers, we're gonna jack the car up, we're gonna get the front wheel off. While we're under there, we can have a little look at the suspension, suspension components as well, and look for worn bushes, any problems, uh, brake connections, uh, just have a little inspection while you're under there. But really the point is for a bit of fun to have a look at the calipers, clean them off and see if we can lay a bit of metallic blue paint on them. Uh, but let's get the car up and have a look. Yeah, you can see I haven't driven anywhere for quite some time. Uh, we've been locked down for probably a month now. So I think the car's been out maybe two times in a month. So yeah, your brake discs are gonna look a little bit uh, a little bit rusty, but quick drive and a few puts, a few slams on the brakes and that'll uh, clean right up. Right, quite beefy calipers really, aren't they? Pretty big. So, but they look gross, don't they? Yeah, whoppers. Now the question is, do we do it the lazy way, paint the caliper on the car, or do we get the caliper off and do it? I might do it the lazy way. So with the wheel off, you can see it's quite a big brake caliper. In the grand scheme of things, I've seen smaller ones. So anyway, I think we can get access, if we, especially if we put the wheel on lock and turn it this way, it's just gonna give us even better access to this part of the caliper. Uh, we could remove the brake hardware here, just bring it off and then rub it all down and see whether it'll take a coat of paint. So you can see there with the wheel turned, you can get right into the back of the caliper and uh, pretty easy access. It's not having a go, I suppose. Okay, now, if I was actually teaching someone the best way to paint their calipers, it wouldn't be like this. So this isn't really a how-to, I just thought I'd cover what I'm doing while we're in lockdown and I'm bored. Um, if you're doing this properly, you take the calipers off, give them a real good clean, probably even disconnect the brake lines and soak them and, and really clean them off. However, what I've done is give them as good of a scrub down as I can, get as most of the muck off, washed it a ton of times, and now I've just uh, masked up the actual disc and I shall tuck this back real tight like that and then we'll be able to spray in and all around and get a bit of a, a nice uh, tack coat in first and then we can lay the blue on a bit thicker afterwards it's probably not gonna well no it won't be a very good job if I'm honest but um, yeah I'm just messing about really We're also going to give this a bit of a paint because this is the bit you see at the front. It's already had one coat, that's just a little tack coat to put on. Okay, with all the masking tape and off, taken off, uh, it's still not dry, so I'm just gonna leave it to properly go off for a good while. And uh, then we'll put the, the brake hardware back on, keep it all under tension, and put the wheel back on, see how it looks. Hasn't come out too bad though, has it, I don't think. Certainly better than all the black, nasty color it was before anyway. Now, just while I'm in the mood for cleaning and painting things, I picked up this 
some time ago and I haven't used it yet. So I thought I'd whip these little plastic things off the grill on the front and give them a little paint up. This stuff says it doesn't need any primer. It's really resistant to chipping. And one thing we can see, I painted these ages ago, is they've chipped. Obviously they're right on the front of the car so you'd expect them to pick up loads of uh, stone chips in the paintwork and things like that. But it's just black plastic. But if you get up close, it kind of looks a bit, uh, a bit, a bit naff. A bit faded and a bit shit looking. So um, this stuff says it'll stick and that it's chip resistant. Let's give it a blast. Okay, these are back on the car now. Uh, look a whole lot better than they did before they came off. In case you don't know, these just pull off, by the way. You don't need to try very hard. Uh, just give them a tug and they will come straight off.